I've been talking about moving for like six months and I can't believe that I'm saying this, but it's time. It's okay, it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be fun. You're gonna have a great time, <laughs> eventually. I had all these grand plans in my head of how I wanted to do this, how I wanted to film, how I wanted to cover everything, but it's been a really wild few months. I've been extremely busy with work, Thank you, God. My sister just got married, also amazing, but because of a really intense schedule and all these things going on that didn't really leave me a lot of brain space to think about myself, and not in a bad way. I love giving my family and work and all these things my brain space, but now I have to focus on myself and get this done. So all that being said, I'm just here to tell you what to expect. I'm going to do this with daily vlogs. It's just gonna be day one of my move, day two of my move, and so on. Today is November 5th. My move out date is November 17th. My new lease started on November 1st, but I was out of town from October 30th until November 4th. I have 12 days, which is just two days short of two weeks, to get all my stuff from this place into the next one. And I'm very grateful for that. And my plan is to just take a bunch of trips. As far as distance goes, I'm not going very far. I'm also going to get a U-Haul one day for like certain big things. My parents might come help me for that. But I get questions all the time. What happens when you move? You have so much stuff. I don't know what's going to happen when I move, but it's here and we're going to find out together. I have not set foot into my new space since my lease began. So I kind of want to start with that, but I don't want to go over there empty handed because that feels like a waste of time. All my utilities start today. So it's crunch time. It's real. It's happening. And it's just going to be a process. I was going to keep talking, but let's just start. Right now, I'm just going to grab a few things that I want to take over to my new place so that I just like have some things in there. It's probably going to feel super real and I'm probably going to be emotional multiple times throughout this experience, but you're here with me and I'm so excited. Let's do this. Let's move. I wish I could show you my living room in pristine condition, but this is what it looks like right now. I have kind of started doing some packing. Ah! Let me give you a very brief story time. My best friend Mia, who I've been living with for three and a half years, is on tour right now. She's one of Sabrina Carpenter's background singers and I'm so proud of her. And she got this amazing gig and had to really quickly uproot everything in order to leave. And the reason is she gets back on November 18th and our move out date is November 17th. I really, really felt for her in that process because I just can't imagine having to be like, out of your space and then coming back to not having an apartment. I don't know. We are still besties. We decided in like June that we were gonna call it in November. I'm ready for more space, obviously. Among like relationships and just life change, we're both just like ready for something new. And I am so grateful and I know she is so grateful for our time living together. It has made us so much closer. I've had so many amazing memories. I can't talk about it too much because I'll get sad, but we already cried together. But I can't wait for her to be back and see my new place and just like experience new friendship with her. Okay, continuing. And then as far as all this goes, I know you haven't seen it in a while. I don't show it off because it's been a disaster. I have boxes that haven't been on display. I have stuff everywhere. I have this disaster of a shelf. I have things that have fallen over. I have boxes of things that I need to throw away, donate. But I have a plan for everything and I will show it all to you soon. And if you've been rocking with me since February, you know that I revamped this side of my room to be my very own poo corner, but I got a new bed, I simplified, as crazy as that sounds, and it was all because I had the sneaky feeling that I was going to be moving in November. And here we are. So I know I have a lot of stuff and it doesn't look simple, but it's way simpler than what it was before. I'm just going to do this in the most authentic way possible and how it feels the most natural because that's more real. I'm just going to film it like this, just like I did all my vlogs when I redid half my room earlier this year. There's a lot of pressure when you're a creator to like document everything and make everything content. And I want everything to be content, but I also want to enjoy this process and do it in a way that doesn't stress me out because I'm already stressed. So I'm going to take a trip over to my new place right now. I'm going to bring Big Pooh Bear. And I'm also going to bring an ottoman and a blanket. I just want a few things that I love to be in my space. I also might have to take a few calls from the new place before all this is over and there's no couch in there yet. And I just want somewhere comfy to sit. I also have no carpet. Thank God for that. And I just think that these few things will make me feel good overall. Okay, I'm also going to take this big mirror and my shoe thing, which makes my dining room look sad. This is wild. First trip. <laughs> Oh gosh, I just loaded my car and it took me so long because for some reason when I was trying to unlock it, my key wasn't like, like the lights were flickering, but none of the locks were opening. But then I just went to start my car and the battery's dead. So now I just have to wait for AAA. I came upstairs and got some seaweed to snack on. Called my mom to tell her what's going on. <laughs> I like to call my parents after I've already come up with the solution so that they don't think I'm calling because I'm like, what am I doing? adulting but the technician's already almost here it was only like 20 minutes here we go shout out triple a oh my god the technician told me my battery smelled like rotten eggs all right all done 225 dollars later 
Okay, now we go. I did just mobile order myself a coffee though because I need some little happy pick-me-up juice. Okay, I just got my coffee and I'm actually gonna run to Target because I can't find my measuring tape and I need one. Some soap to put in my kitchen just to have soap so I can wash my hands during my move. Maybe like a roll of paper towels. The homeland. Okay, paper towels, toilet paper, hand soap, Clorox wipes. I almost forgot measuring tape, which is like low key, the main reason I'm here. Excuse me, what are those? Those are so cute. Okay, I know I didn't update you, but I did grab measuring tape and those cute little Mickey things. I don't know. All right, let's go. I made it. <sighs> Just really happy. Okay. So I might put this right here. It could be kind of nice to open up the entryway. Got my little handy dandy. So I can carry all the stuff upstairs that I got at Target. We got toilet paper, paper towels, my little Mickey lights, Clorox wipes, measuring tape. I got some gloves just in case I have to do any cleaning, hand soap, and two wellness shots. Now I brought this like shoe cubby thing from home. I hope that it fits right here. Yeah, pretty good. Put like a bowl for keys. And maybe I'll put like a really small bench so you could like sit and put your shoes on. All right, I made it up in the kitchen. I had to reach out to the property managers because the space definitely could use a cleaning. It's not dirty, but there's dust and things from maintenance that has come in since my last visit. I don't think I should have to be worrying about cleaning the entire place when I'm supposed to be moving in. So there's my blanket and my ottoman, <laughs> my big move in items. Check this out. I'm only gonna show you this right now because look how cute he is. <laughs> okay, so I've been going through every room of the house with my measuring tape so that I can do a thing before I really get into the space. I'm trying to figure out like how much room I have for bookcases, how high they can go, what's gonna go where, and that's a very exciting thing. So this I think is where my bed is gonna come out of the wall from. For some reason in this video, I'm making the room look really small. Nay, nay. It's not huge, but it'll be a good little fit. This room is really just gonna be my bedroom, which is very exciting. Of course, I'll have nerdy stuff in here because I'm a nerd. So I've just been doing that and then using Snapchat to write the dimensions on a picture so that I can reference. All right, so I'm feeling very excited after being there for a little while. I did a ton of measuring. I'm a little irked about the cleaning situation, but hopefully we can get that figured out. And I'm actually at Target again because there's a few things that I just like noticed that I would need quickly while I was there. Like I had nowhere to throw anything away. So maybe I'll get some bathroom trash cans. And I also want to take care of getting some curtains in my windows ASAP. Back again. There's a chance I won't get anything here. So I'm not just going to like expect that they're going to have exactly what I need. Okay, a little development. I didn't get any curtains. I don't think I'm gonna get any here, but I did get some stuff for bathrooms. This could be cool for the front door area because someone can sit there to put their shoes on and then I also have room inside for things. It's all about storage, but I think I might look at like home goods or something like that. Cheaper. Okay, and then I'm getting some bathroom essentials for all my guests that come over. And I'm also getting a drying rack for my laundry room. I don't think I really need bins per se, but these ones are on sale for almost $8 off. So I'm gonna grab two. Also, it's always a sleigh to be able to <laughs> put all the stuff into the bin. And don't ask questions about the Christmas soap dispensers. So my plan is not to go back yet because my phone is very low battery and I forgot my external charger. So I'm gonna go home. I have some freelance to work on. I'm gonna try to post these the next day. So like if you're watching this, hopefully I filmed this yesterday and I'm gonna try to do it in real time as possible. But yeah, so I'm headed home and we'll go from there. Hello, checking back in. I am back at my new place. I was at home for like three hours, but literally nothing eventful happened, so you didn't miss anything. I was just kind of strategizing for the rest of the night, and I wanted to make one more trip over here with the stuff I got at Target, so here we are. Let's go inside, and then I'm gonna go home and do some packing. I'll do some time lapse for you, and uh, then we're gonna go to bed. Okay, obsessed with this so far. We got some good essentials, soap in the shower, a Mickey bath rug, yes. And then this bathroom is identical. Nice, nice, nice. The drying rack felt really important because like 99% of the time I'm doing laundry, there's at least one thing that needs to be air dried so it doesn't shrink. And then here's a little hamper for the back of the door to save space. I'll put just like, you know, kitchen towels or just other things that aren't my clothes in there. 
Quickest little update ever, I got home. I'm surprised I had the energy to film and do as much as I did, but I'm just checking in. I hope you enjoyed day one. Lots of exciting things in motion, and I'll see you for day two.